Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. Free form here for BDD, then the scout of the week. And leaning into a victor, you don't really have kill pressure as the Syndra. You're not going to be putting any threat onto him. So it's going to be, this game is going to be very, very slow. And like, Argus definitely just going to be very slow as he wins the race here. Ooh, possibly a bit of an engage as Dread down towards this bottom side. Flash out from life as the stun is going to miss there from Dread. Peter, though, he's going to have to flash to get himself out of the way. But Ghost with his Gravitum doing some work here. The flash forward and the knock up to answer there as Dread is not going to be able to get out. Aiming gets excited and the Abyssal Dive is going to get Peter out of there. But Ghost gets a follow up kill and even is able to stun up Life and Amy. And, uh, you know, Rift Herald's coming up in two minutes, and that is uh, all that thought, Rascal. Oh, yeah, Rascal's looking for another solo kill, as he does dash on forward. There's the Ignite down onto Kana. Perfect execution available, and that is going to net the kill. Damage comes through as the Flash was coming out, and that is a feels bad. Yeah, because it could actually be extremely impactful, you know, the Hex Tech. It's not, you know, going to be the Mountain. It'll be a cloud. Yeah. You best believe this. Peter is trying to dive his way out, but it's not going to work. He eats some gray health, but uh, it's not going to be enough to keep him alive. Good little pick off there and another kill. No, that it's obviously going to be a cloud soul. And it's going to be an infernal. So you say enough against. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is kind of unfortunate for Gnome Shim. You know, they, they had teleport and they're going to take a turret here. Yeah, nicely done from Kana. Going to be out of exactly. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, okay, I guess I'll just take that. Thank you very much. All the hard work Kana put in for the first 15 minutes of the game, I'll just take an equivalent amount for free on the top side of the map here. And now, I mean, this, again, so good for, for the victor. Real exciting. That's very technical. It's like if we had jetpack delivery people here instead of scooters. No, no, I'm a big fan. As BDD is going to walk into Cuz. There's the flash forward. BDD taking a lot of damage. Oh, no! The stun! So Peter can't get the devour up, and that will secure his fate as well. KT pick up two quick ones. Beautiful play from life. So not only do they After get... Then Graves can auto twice, so... Yeah. As uh, Rascal looks for the solo here. Perfect execution comes down. There is the second one, and Rascal so comfortably does it. Now he is one behind. The record that Kana set for second over gold as well as BDD standing on a ward and that is just a free engage. He flashes to get himself out of the way but he's slowed down by the solar flare. This time the Devourer is going to come through but it just delivers an Akali on top of this Orianna and the Aphelios is also taken down. Kana's now trying to push them back but two of their most important members are dead and now KT can move anywhere they want on this map. Yeah, they're just going to group up here on the Baron at this stage and Nongjim are just losing fights in neutral, straight up. I mean, they're just getting outskilled, they're getting outranged and in every single one of these moments, the engage tools are way better for Nongshim, and that's one of the things you lack and that's something you mentioned for Peter early on with this Tom Ketch, we want to see some more engage but you know, he, it's not really a safe engaged champion, whereas Leona gives you so many opportunities in these neutral fights where you're trying to set up for objectives. To set up a pick, going is coming into play, which is why we don't really like the Aphelios into the Jinx, but it's a choice that Nongshim decided to go for here. And it is now starting to hurt them amongst other issues, right? That they're behind in terms of the top lane with three. by himself. It's yeah. just like, he's doing this over and over again. Okay, this is an awkward flank. Yeah, we got a flash on in. That's a three-man shockwave as well as immediately Vickler is going to get taken down. This is what this composition is capable of. So glad we finally saw it. Because now Cuz is trying to run this one out. He does decide to go back in. Ghost picks up the triple kill though. No way for Cuz to do anything there. And it is Ghost. So to set up for this if he can't see what he's trying to ult. Well, Rascal actually going to get caught out of position. And that is the execution. Kana helps lock that one down, finally gets himself some revenge, and now... ...removed here once again. So difficult for Nongshim, and they just straight up don't know. Yeah, and uh, Peters is wandering towards the bottom lane. They've got an Orianna on vision, and yes, Ghost will find this out, but there is absolutely nothing Nongshim can do about it. So the Baron, just taken for free here by KT. Yeah, they need time, because aiming is just making it happen. Oh, we got another wrap around. It's 14 seconds on the Elder, and Nongshim have gone all in on making sure they have position on the Elder Drake. Vision is now going to get set up, and the bad news is there, but now KT can rotate back down. And Cannon now looking for the wrap around, and it's so much jostling for position here from both of these teams. So patient here, BD waiting for his chance. Yep, the orb needs to be respected. Great devour from Peter to avoid the Super Mega Death Rocket damage. And now Cuz dives on in there. Shockwave not exactly going to do a whole lot for Nongshim right here as the Aphelios locks down the Akali. Tom Kench is dead, but now KT with aiming in the back. 
are looking to try and get this one done. Dread is going to lock down the kill onto life, though. And Vickler flashes to get out of the way there. And now they're just chasing him down, fishing a barrel here for aiming. No way out, beating yeah. him down. And that should be KT Rollstar locking up this game tight. Now, they did end up losing a few members here. They lost the Akali early. Great play from Ghost. The focus fire was good. But once BDD's Shockwave missed, once it, I mean, it hit only base of the Xinjiao there. Once that was off the, the table, KT just walk in and win the fight. And that's the difference in the late game scaling between these two teams. You have great engage as BDD, but Vikla is gonna do long-term damage in the fight. As he did, you can see those numbers on the bottom of your screen. Dread gonna go for a Miracle Steal. That's all you've got left. Yeah, this is, going, this is an ambitious Elder Drake, and it's certainly going to be a flip as it's not going to land in favor of Nongshim. The dragon is going to come down, aiming, delivering it towards Nongshim, and that is going to be, yeah, he's well and truly satiated at this point in time. Triple kill as he tidies it up, and I think that this might just be game over for Nongshim in game two. Yeah, I know a lot of people scoffed at the ghost votes last game, like, okay, he got a lot of kills, didn't do a whole lot. I think this one is going aiming's way. He has I had think so, so such a phenomenal mid game, just threatening the enemy AD carry with the lead that he had. He pushed the envelope so hard, ends up being at the end of this, I think three levels ahead of ghost as the Nexus falls. We're not there yet, but once the minions catch up, KT yeah. is gonna bring us to a very critical game three. That's two-man shockwave there, but I don't think it is going to be quite enough to stop these Nexus turrets from going down. Can is trying to get towards his fountain as BDD will get eaten. Oh no, does uh, manage to go golden for a moment, but Rascal tidies it up in the end. That's going to be a fair bit of damage there from Ghost as he's trying to get this one. And Rascal does end up stopping the funny business in the end. KT, they get their revenge and we're going to game three. KT, really impressive wielding of what he is.